Hi, this is Felipe. Welcome to the Postmodern Family. We are Americans living in the UK, searching for Great Britain. And this episode is about my trip to London to witness the Lord Mayor's show of 2019. So uh, I left uh, I left my house at about 6.45 in the morning walking to the local train station. I needed to connect into a Waterloo station from which I would take the um, the Waterloo city line into Bank, um, which is where I got off. Uh, that, that takes me right to the Bank of England. And uh, the whole point of this is that um, uh, someone on Twitter called Purple Lime Boris Island, I don't know what their real name is, but they reached out to me on Twitter and said, hey, the Lord Mayor's show is on this Saturday, and so you should go check it out. It would make a really good episode. And so I was like, okay, what is the Lord Mayor's show? I never heard of it. Um, and so I looked it up and I thought, this is awesome. I'm gonna go check it out. And it turns out that, I mean, I don't know any, I don't know much. I mean, I'm no expert. Um, I haven't read a lot about the city of, of, of London. It's always weird to me that the uh, metropolitan area of London um, is not what London actually is. There's a thing called the city of London, which is inside the old Roman settlement, the old Roman fort that was walled in. At one square mile of London, um, where the financial district is, is uh, uh, originally a Roman settlement. And this is where it gets really interesting in that after the Romans left in 410, 410 AD, the city of London, the one square mile uh, former Roman um, fort, w went into disrepair and just abandonment. So apparently in Saxon times, it, it, it experienced a rejuvenation, I think under Wessex or some of those monarchs. And um, I can't record in the station. Right. Well, I got kicked out of the station for recording. Some uh, station officials said that I couldn't record in the station because it's private. So, and as I was saying, I think the history of it is so fascinating in that um, after the Saxons rejuvenated the city, the same King John who signed the Magna Carta, the folks who lived inside the city of London were so uh, intent on self-rule that um, King John had to grant them a, a charter, uh, giving them permission to self-rule. And so, so thus begins in the 12th century, a, um, this election, yearly election of the Lord Mayor of the city of London, which is not the same as the mayor of London, which is um, Khan at the moment. So it's not the same thing. That was a point of confusion for me. And um, so since about that 12th century, there's been this tradition where the, after the election, the Lord Mayor uh, travels from the city of London to where the legal powers or legal offices that can administer the king or queen's rule sit and goes and swears allegiance to the sovereign. And that has been the tradition since the 12th century. And that is the origin of the uh, Lord Mayor's show. And so they would have this fanfare uh, parade kind of thing where they, the mayor and a bunch of accompaniments and floats, it originally went through the River Thames. So from, from the city of London to to Westminster along the River Thames in boats, and that's why they called it floats. That's why they called them floats, and that's the origin why today, even this day, in, in the States, in the States, we still call them um, floats, even though they're not floating, they're just on the ground. So I thought that was really fascinating.
Wow, they're good. The Lord Mayor travels in a golden carriage. I think that's been happening since the 17th century, I'm not quite sure. But um, in very opulent, ornate, extravagant uh, wow. carriages and boats and such would travel from the city of London to Westminster. It's become a yearly thing where the people of London come out and witness this age-old tradition that's about 800 years old. And another piece of really fascinating information is that apparently in the Norman Conquest, William the Conqueror could not, um, could not beat the Londoners in the city of London. And so um, they, held, they held their ground, which is really impressive. Um, and then another piece of information I learned is that apparently during the Civil War, they were for Cromwell, for the Republic. I learned that from a guy that was standing next to me. So that's the history that was really fascinating to me. Now, to the actual parade itself, um, it was really cool that you had many regiments um, of the Army, of the Royal Air Force, uh, from different periods of times, in different dress, you had Paris, you had uh, a really cool band. Um, I think it was an I think it was an army band, but I'm not sure. But uh, the procession was just really impressive. It was really a sight to see, and I really enjoyed. So was the city of London sympathetic to Cromwell during the Civil War? Oh, anyway, yeah. oh right. The, the <laughs> That's why I cheered. Oh, I see. And you're for the Republic too, I'm then. Thank you very much. Band is formed up, ready for your inspection. May I have your lead to carry on, sir, please? This is amazing. Yeah. Wow. It is amazing. It is. Wow. Perhaps some of the people in Parliament could see this and actually change their ways. So the guy doing the inspection is a lieutenant colonel, is he? Is that what you said? Uh, yeah, he's, he's at least a major with a crown, I think. Right. What struck me the most, however, was this idea of English people smiling and waving at perfect strangers. You just don't so see that, especially not in London. Yeah, boy, yeah. Um, yeah. And so to see that in London, people on their floats, people walking by, smiling, literally <laughs> smiling and waving at perfect strangers, was a sight to behold, and it really warmed my grizzled heart. So I think next year I'll take the family. I just came solo. And I think next year I'll take the family and we'll really enjoy ourselves. Thanks so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed filming it. The history of this great city is so rich and so deep and so meaningful. I hope you guys don't take it for granted. If you like what we do, you can uh, become a patron at patreon.com slash the postmodern family. And that grants you special access to unique 
uh, material and live uh, shows. Thanks so much for watching. Catch you later. Bye. Now, would these be veterans? They've actually done a tour. Yeah? I'm not entirely sure. That's obviously a big mix of regiments. Yeah.